Okay, today is an important day. Um, today I am going to get two captain's chairs for the bus. So right now there's the stock um, Chevy seat and the driver's seat and nothing else. We are Zach and Rachel, the Okie Nomads. We are hikers, cyclists, athletes, and explorers. We grew tired of the nine to five and are choosing to live life on our own terms. So we bought a school bus, got married, gutted the school bus, and began building it into a sustainable tiny house on wheels. With little to no building experience and a little bit of luck, we plan to quit our jobs, sell most of our belongings, and leave our home state of Oklahoma to travel the American West. We hope you will follow along as the next season in our lives is sure to be an adventure. So I loaded up all the tools I might need and headed off to the junkyard. No sooner than bringing the seats back to the truck, uh, I found that Rachel was nowhere to be seen and so I took off looking for her. I should have known that if Rachel was tinkering somewhere in the junkyard, it was by the bright white short bus with no engine and a very very nice first aid kit. We have chairs for the bus. We do have chairs for the bus. How do you feel? Super excited because now I have a seat and I don't have to sit in a lawn chair. Well, you don't have to tell people you sit in a lawn chair. It's the best part. I've already told them. Okay good. <laughs> we celebrated the removal of the chairs from the junkyard with a, a nice bike ride. Um, like most of our adventures it took a turn um, we ended up having a flat with no tools to repair it uh, with about three miles left, so we hiked a little bit. We're, gonna, we're coming up on this road, we're going to hit the T, we're going to go right, and then we're going to go left. Okay. Right, and then left. Next morning we got started ripping out the stock seat from the school bus um, to replace it with the other ones. It was really simple, there were just four bolts um, and a random hump thing that you'll see just a little bit later, um, but this kind of shows you the crud and junk that was that was underneath there from years of, of service. After the sea was out, we just took the time to clean up the spot just a little bit and vacuum out all the junk. Alright, so what we've got here is a random hump in the floor underneath the seat. I have no idea why it's there, there's nothing under it. It's, it's, you press on top of it and there's nothing there. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, so here's the hump. As you can see, it's almost level with the plywood. It's a little bit higher, actually. Um, and there's no, there's nothing, I don't, I don't understand. So what I'm gonna do is get a box blade and I'm gonna just cut it out. And then we will go through and put plywood down so it's level. And then um, we'll go from there and get the seat put in. I used to tell myself that I was nothing Victim to the poison I was huffing Now my name come up like no discussion That's all day If there are any filmography, cinematography buffs watching the channel I want to make sure everybody knows this was not a fancy zoom effect um, that I did on purpose uh, My lens actually has a little bit of zoom creep um, And so whenever it's facing down like this it'll, it'll zoom in on its own It made for an interesting effect but it was, it was definitely not intentional I got all the all the bolts um, cut out of the floor. Um, kind of gave me an idea of what we were going to need as far as plywood and insulation underneath there to make it level. Um, but we also had to go to Lowe's um, to grab a couple of bolts, as the ones that were from the original van didn't quite fit. So we'll uh, we'll go missing here for a second, but don't worry, we'll be back. I've been watching, see me waiting, hear them hate. We got some bolts for the passenger side. Um, two of them fit, two of them don't. 
So we're going to have to re-measure all that, um, go back to Lowe's later. But in the meantime, we're going to put the plywood down for the driver's side, um, and then we'll measure the bolts for that and make sure we have eight bolts for uh, eight holes and two chairs. And we'll hopefully have two chairs in the bus by the end of the day. Next, I just cut out the, uh, the open section from where the, the previous chair was. Um, cut out some three-quarter inch uh, foam board insulation and three-quarter inch plywood to fill in that hole um, to make it level with the floor around it. Now it was time to get the seats in place make sure we had enough room to swivel around on the passenger side all the way around and at least halfway on the driver's side. Rachel tried to get her seat exactly where she wanted it um, so that we could use it to the fullest in its position. Um, we quickly discovered, however, that the center console was going to get in the way of being able to swivel it around um, and lean it back whenever it's in the side position. So it has to go and we'll end up building something else to fill in that hole. positioned exactly where we wanted them, we went ahead and drilled the holes um, to where we could drill through the, all the way through the floor um, and attach the, the bolts, the lock nuts, and the nuts to the bottom of them. Alright guys, so I'm sitting in our newly furnished uh, captain's chairs. We've got both the driver and the passenger in with as little heartache as possible. Um, the bolts are the same bolts we used from the from the van we took them from, um, so it should be safe, secure, everything's tight, uh, lock washers, all that. Um, now that it's pouring outside, um, I'm switching to some of the interior stuff, so I'm gonna, I pulled some wires through for the fridge, we're gonna set the fridge up and permanently affix it to the cabinet below it, um, and then I'll probably work on a little bit of miscellaneous electrical stuff, um, yeah. All right, so one of our biggest concerns lately has been safety, um, what happens in the bus if we have a wreck, if somebody hits us, if something happens, we don't want all of this stuff careening down on top of us, which we probably will anyway, but we're trying to take as many precautions as we can. And one of the ways that we've been doing that is on the refrigerator. Um, we didn't really want to trim it in because we didn't think that would really help. So we have installed, I have installed um, a couple of kind of hook eyes and on each end, And the idea is to use ratchet straps to strap those down um, and that way the fridge at least will have to rip out three quarter inch plywood um, that's been screwed together and glued together before it comes into the back of my head so um, yeah the bus is a, an absolute mess right now three or four projects going on at once um, but stuff's getting done to give you an idea of what we're looking at for the kind of backsplash next to the refrigerator um, it's just cabinet board right now we could stain it or paint it um, but I think a little pallet wood and some white paint will probably do the trick. Alright, so that's kind of the plan. It's the exact same on the back side. Those hook eyes are just uh, drilled a pilot hole and then um, twisted on the end. So, yeah. It's not going anywhere, it's taking the bus with it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, we got a lot done. I hope you enjoyed the, the progress. Um, if you could, go subscribe to our channel. You'll get updates like this every other week or so um, on our building our bus. And then once we hit the road in April, um, you'll be included in all of those adventures too. So um, stay tuned, give us a like, um, go see us on Facebook or Instagram. 
uh, we update there as well. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.